Imagine a place without color, but you have the power to explore and literally change the path you walk on. In order to escape, you will need to solve a bunch of puzzles and they require you to think outside of this white box. Would you be able to escape? Drop a like, it'll make my day and enjoy your stay. Hey, okay. spawned in in a room. It's a bit white. Wait, there's color. There's some lore. There's a chest here. This goes all the way to sky limit. And inside the chest was a temporal resonator. It resonates with my brain, huh? Press C to create the illusion and press C to end the illusion. Cool. The illusion created lever and a door, which I clicked and allowed me to get through. Next room. Seems like there's some parkour. Hmm. Pretty simple. Actually pretty fun though. Let me go here first and then bring me to a room where another chest and this time with a weighted blue cube. Now I was going to the next route. This place. Huh. Simple enough. I tried to cheat the system. Didn't work, so I had to place the cube. That weighted down. I was able to get through. But I realized I could just get it back by left shifting. This door required two pressure plates, so I put the cube on one and stepped on the other. And also, this is where I found out I could just left shift to teleport to my resonator. Huh. There's two paths here. I guess I'm gonna go on the run on the right. And I find a red cube. Hmm. Now, basically, this connects to the same place again. But here we find three separate pressure plates, which open the door in the bottom middle there. So I had to use everything, including my resonator. But I messed up. I had to do it again. And now the door opened. Inside that passageway was a final cube, a green cube. So I was able to keep the door open while having the resonator. I left shift to get all the cubes back. Now I was getting to a sandy place. TNT, a lever, click the lever. Oh, TNT exploded. Oh, ho, this place looks so weird without color, but I was able to give color to these flowers. They must mean something. Blue, red, blue, and green. Oh, maybe that's where you place them? The door opened. I got all the cues back. What was this? More parkour? On to the next room. See, this is a bit of a puzzle here. Really did not get with redstone. So I used the levers. I realized that I had to push both diamond blocks at least to the end so I can push the last one right here. And that should open the door. And it did. The illusion in front sent a redstone signal, but I didn't know where. Right here, was it? That button was to release the break. And so I have to time it. But you know what? Why not just send a bunch of signals? So my chances are higher. And it worked. Getting the illusion back. This next room. Huh. Really was hard because as soon as I pressed the button, there wasn't enough time to get up. So I realized good TP. So just throw the temporal resonator, click the button, and left shift. I was through in a matter of seconds. And now there's a maze. Using the cubes to mark off places I've been, I've managed to find the potential exit. I got the cubes back, and I got through. But here were three rooms, and it seemed like a puzzle of some sort. Two and four, and the library room. You may not borrow any more than five of books, the five being capitalized. And here in the middle, huh, I was right. 
five numbers potentially letters now on the room on the right a page from a religious text and on the bottom it said four colon seven and on here on the opposite side five dots and nine dots going back to the middle room i saw a burnt sign behind one of the cakes and it said the first is neither positive nor negative so i knew the first number was always a zero so i decided to take the two from here the five from the library rules take the four from here and then the five from the dots zero two five four five tried it nothing happened all right time to use the second set of numbers let's use the four now still the five now the seven and then the nine dots. Let's try this code. Throw it in. Oh, and the passageway opened. Dropping down, I see kind of a weird contraption. Purple, yellow, cyan. Confused until you start putting some of the cubes on it. Red and blue becomes purple, so the, that purple door opened. And here was a puzzle. It was not too bad. I think. Clicking that. Yep. Uh huh. Push that. And then one more. That. Yes. It lighted it up. And I think that's done with the puzzle. Going to the middle. It seemed like I had to complete both the left and the right, which is cyan and purple. But now I have to complete the cyan part. But the cyan part. This part was a bit difficult. See, if you push that there, push that there, push that there, 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 there. Just couldn't quite get it on my first try. Okay, let's see. There, there, there. No. Had to reset again. Now this time, push it there, push it there. Hold the lamp. Now I gotta push the rest of the lock. Hold that down. And then do that. Yeah, we, we finished. The middle was lit up. And I was levitating to the next level. Got the cubes back, got the illusion back, and there was this, this room, and it said, secret of the world, lift the veil and peek behind the curtain, you shall see. Hmm, that's a cool meaning. I guess just peek, peek through the portal, and I was able to get a glimpse of color. On the right, those pillars. Top with the cube colors, and the bottom were the wool colors. All I had to do was match my cube with the wool. That was it. Hope you guys had a good day. Peace, peace.